I just want the people of the coast to know that I set about to earn the respect of the local party membership and I intend to do exactly the same with the, mem with the general population of Fisher. Engaging with them, being there for them and with them and making sure that we take their fight, their woes, their concerns to Canberra, but doing things of a practical nature. We need to do to the Gillard government what we've done to the Bly government. It's in the nation's interests and that is what I'm dedicating myself to from this day forward. A couple of years we've been preparing for this now. Um, how pleasing is the, the next step on, on the way back to Canberra? Uh, it's really not the road back to Canberra. It's about re-engaging with the public. The public here have every reason to be very concerned about the democratic process and then the way they've, the hand they've been dealt. And that changes now. We need to be able to show them that as a party we respect them, that we deserve their support and their vote, and that we will listen to them and work on their behalf. Canberra is just part of that mix. How can you be up against get? Peter Slipper if he decides to stand again? I'm Peter? actually not interested in other candidates. I'm actually interested in what I can do and what the LNP can do and what Tony Abbott can do. That's what matters to me. Are you surprised your involvement in the Slipper scandal hasn't hurt your chances today? Look, the public here, I think, are only too well aware that what I did was help someone in need. No more, no less. I won't make any other comments about that matter. It's before the courts, uh, and so I'll just leave it at that. Did Tony Abbott know the extent that you were involved? And this was one of the more heated pre-selections and uh, some people spoke out in, in support of uh, James McGrath especially. Are you uh, confident you're going to those people behind you? Look, uh, in a pre-selection, people are absolutely uh, allowed and should be encouraged to support any candidate. There were a range of candidates there today that had support from a range of front, ben front benches, including myself. What you'll find with the Coalition and what you'll find with Tony Abbott was we're all part of one team and that is in stark contrast to what we see with the Opposition. There is no leadership tussle here. We're here for Australia's interest. How much of the vote did you get? Do you know breakdown? Haven't been told. Do you believe you can uh, 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 return to the front bench if you get in top? Uh, look, my aim isn't about the front bench. My aim is support here. My entire time in politics has been about doing whatever job I've been given as the member for Longman or any other portfolio to the best of my ability. That hasn't changed. That is who I am as an individual. And that's all that matters is that we regain the trust of the public here in Fisher. They deserve better than they've had. Have you yeah. spoken to Tony Abbott or John Howard in the past few days? No, I haven't. Uh, Bruce, uh, James McGrath has apparently said that... Sorry. Will you be speaking to Tony Abbott? Or? Oh, absolutely. I mean, he's the leader, and of course, what I want to do is be part of that team and make sure that you know the Australian public understands how committed we are to changing the path of this of destruction that this this country has been put on by uh, you know a disgraceful Labor government.